Hello, hello, and welcome back to Rev Lexus, the Lexus channel for you. And today I'm going to be showing you around the 2022 Lexus ES300H F Sport. So stay tuned for this video. So here we have the 2022 ES300H and F Sport trim. All the new ES300 uh, PH in the UK come with safety system, Lexus safety system plus. This is things like your radar cruise control, pre collision warning, etc. Uh, as you can see, we have got the S-Bolt package, which means we get the spindle grille with the metallic finish around the front end. We've also got 19-inch alloy wheels down the side, uh, which is 23540 for anybody interested. They are black for the s trim for 2022. We've also got black around the wing mirrors there, which I think are quite nice offset. And we've also got an F-Sport emblem on the front fenders. This particular paint on today's car is called Sonic Platinum, which is a £920 option here in the UK. Apologies, I'm not going to see it in the best light, but it does look pretty good. It's almost like a silver uh, kind of colour. Uh, it does look good from a distance. As you can see, the body line is it's not too bad of colour. And this ES also claims when you're out in the road, you get six to eight decibels while driving, so it's a pretty car, quiet car. We move around to the rear. As you can see, this trim kind of looks not as chrome as normal. Could be wrong, but looks like a little bit darker. Around the rear, you've also got this trim, kind of like a metallic effect. So I've just been out and out chrome, which I quite like the look of that. Right the rear end of this does look pretty good. It is quite a large looking car here as well in the UK. So if I quick look at the boot, let's see if it's got the kick operation working. No, we'll just do it the fashion way. As you can see, we've got quite a large squared off boot, 454 litres of boot space. It is about 76 litres less than something like an Audi 6 or BMW 5 series, but still decent enough width there for things like your golf clubs, got tie down hooks for important things. Lift this up, got your spare tyre kit and your jack. Yeah, it's pretty useful, pretty flat. Definitely a noticeable difference compared to the Lexus IS 300. I do like the fact we've got the reversing camera built into the black plastic as well, starting the registration, so I kind of hit that a little bit. And we have no visible tailpipes in this. Uh, I didn't even attempt to put fake ones on like you might get in an Audi. There's just nothing on the hybrid model. I do like the rear lights. They kind of look like L's, probably best on the passenger side. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. And all this kind of angledness reminds me of Lexus RC. Toyota RAV4, kind of Toyota Lexus products. I do like the little spoiler as well in the boot. Just a subtle kind of lit spoiler again. Hope that comes off in camera, that silver paint looks pretty decent. Got the shark fin up top. A quick look in the back. I think this is where the ES kind of excels over something like an IS. It's the rear space. So it's pretty big back here. Uh, where I've got the black <laughs> and black, which is kind of gym spec, but as you can see, legroom is huge. I am 5 foot 11, and there is plenty of legroom. Headroom is decent as well, with the cut out there for the sunroof. It's positively huge back here. And I've also got a little bit of storage in there, and then cup holders here. So it's a pretty nice place to be. And even that is black with the little lines in it, so a lot of attention to detail in the Lexus. We do have a little pass-through there for your skis. And for any parents wondering, we do have your hooks there for your child seat. If you can get that off with one finger would be ideal, but um, yeah, that's where they would go for your child hook anchors. There we go. We've also got a little bit of storage here, like airplane style. And then down here, we've got little charger points, USB-C, behind the flat, and then a 12 volt power outlet that's playing a ball with me, <laughs> but there we go. 
the air vents. All in all, not too bad a place to be. Uh, this does share the platform with things like Toyota Camry. Uh, so it is pretty big and I can imagine this doing well in something like an Uber Lux, just because you've got plenty of legroom. So we step into the front of the car. And as we can see in the door card, we've got memory seats. We've got the cool style handle, it means we're something like the Lexus LC. We've got here an upgraded rubberized buttons. Very familiar to other Lexus products. I do like the fact they've got a bit of design going on here. So if we did get another colour, like you've got a cream or a white or a red, this would all be a different colour to split up the panel. This has been pretty safe, green black on black, with a kind of aluminium trim. Go ahead and jump inside. And you feel cocooned in your own <laughs> premium car. It's all nice and quiet and comfortable in here. So being an F-Sport, we do get things like the F-Sport steering wheel, which gives it a little bit thicker, a little bit of preparation on the leather on the steering wheel. Uh, a little bit of bolstering at the 10 and 2. It's quite nice in the hand. We've also got F-Sport seats, which, as you can see, we've got the F-Sport into the headrest there. And these particular seats, as you can see, are black. Uh, and let's just call them <laughs> black F-Sport uh, to have a trim with F-Aluminium stamping you can also get um f white and flare red seats as well in the f sport up here we've got a sunroof which i will admit i was surprised it is <laughs> a manual adjustment to get that open there for it might be an electric but I mean, you do have electric open there if you wanted to open it up on a rainy day so we're going to ahead and get the car started up put in the brake push the power button Steering wheel comes down, seat goes forward to your driving position. As I said, you would probably set that. It is eight way adjustable, so you would just set that to it if you want and hold them down to say, oh, set like that. This infotainment screen as well is new for the facelift. Um, it is a 12, just over 12, I think it's 12.3 inches, and it's been moved about 100 millimeters closer to the driver. So that means now we can actually use it as a touch pad, uh, sorry, use it as a touch screen in comparison to the touchpad that not everybody is a fan of. Uh, I will admit this touchpad is a little bit of an improvement over the <laughs> kind of previous pad that I have, which is kind of a little mouse pad that was in the Lexus CT. So the infotainment screen here it isn't the latest and greatest one that you've seen in the NX uh, video or even the RZ but it is a little bit more intuitive than previously when we've had the kind of mouse pad only. Uh, I do like the fact you can do all that. You can also push things like your menu to get you to your home screen, audio, if you want to click digital radio. So long and short of it is pretty fast and responsive. Down below, we've got your air vents. There's nothing too fancy there, kind of little small slits. Down here we've got some physical buttons, which I know some people do like instead of having a secondary screen for your climate control, so you can just push that and I like the way it goes like an old train station clock or something to tell you the temperature increase, decrease, you've got your fan speed, your rear defrost, etc. Radio and media. Down below you've got your heated steering wheel, which is quite nice, you can have that on auto, heat that up. Heated seats you can leave on auto as well for a cold day, especially in Scotland when the weather's going to be pretty cold all the time. On higher trim options you can get cooled seats and they would be there. Uh, we've also got a CD player down here which is a nice touch in 2022. Down here we've got a cup holder and we've got a little bit of USB charge ports for your phone and an aux cable. As I mentioned we've got the Lexus infotainment pad and we've also got the Lexus CVT gear box which put in the brake and you can, it's quite simple to use down for reverse and all the way back for drive, almost like an airplane photo lever or something, it's quite big and concrete, it's not one of these buttons and things like that. Yeah, down here we've got your secondary cup holder, which if you pull that up, you can get your big water bottles and things to go to the gym, push that down and it's rubberized and kind of raises it up for something like a can. I will point out Lexus will give you this little pad here to rest your wrist on, which is quite neat. We've also got this um, double jointed 
pads here, which is area for your wireless charging for your phone, and then a little bit of storage down below as well. And I like the fact you can open it from both sides so the passenger and driver can reach it quite easily. Open the glove box just down here, push this button, and as you can see, it's awfully damp, but it's not lined with the fuzzy stuff, it's just kind of scratchy plastic. But that is softly padded, um, actually more softly padded than the dash, than usually. As you can see, you're speaking of the dash, it is all lined with the white stitching to make it look premium, and it is kind of soft touch to feel. And top of the dash is covered in a vinyl kind of material. I do like the sport gauges, just when we're talking about the driver display. Uh, it is a little bit LFA inspired, which I know the LFA is about 12 years old at this point. But that doesn't get old, the physical moving gauge. And up at the top here, it kind of looks like Shrek ears. And once you see that once, you're not going to see that again. You can cycle through things like Eco Mode, Sport Mode, and then Sport Plus. That kind of makes things look a bit more aggressive. We're not going to get too much out of an eco <laughs> um, hybrid. And the gauges are clear and as you can see we're getting 45 miles to a gallon today. And there's your energy mod monitor which I've always liked in Lexus vehicles just because you can see how much battery power you're going. It's just kind of like a novelty feature. And while I'm in the front I may as well give you plenty of headroom, plenty of width room and there is plenty of adjustment as well so if you are 5 foot 11, 6 foot, I'm going to have plenty of room to get it comfortable, equally if you're a little bit shorter than myself. The steering wheel is very adjustable, um, at a touch of a button so you can move up and down to suit your needs. So I just want to say thanks very much for watching this video on the Lexus ES300H. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below, comment below if you get any questions, and I'll see you next video. Ciao. So doing a car review yourself and the child lock on <laughs> and we're going to have to struggle to get out so this will probably make it into the bloopers at the end. <laughs>